Christina Ray here with Hello. A little pause there. <laughs> a phone call came in uh, with Coldwell Banker Vision Realty. Very exciting for us to have that here in Olds, isn't it, Ray? It is, absolutely. We're glad you can join us today. And uh, we're going to be doing something new every single month. We're going to be doing walkthroughs at the different locations and different houses that you guys have. And uh, today it leads us to 15 Viceroy Crescent. Isn't that right? Absolutely. So this is a couple year old home that. We're going to uh, turn it around. Are you ready for this? It's beautiful. Absolutely. Okay. So what you've got is you've got uh, just over 2,200 square foot of home, plus the finished basement of about 800 square foot more. Uh, one of the few homes left with RV parking, so you can get a full 40 foot RV on the side of the house. So tons of room. Crazy, that's a huge, huge driveway. What do you say we go inside and have a look? Yeah, that sounds good. So we'll turn it back to us while we're walking. What's up? Right? <laughs> I told him I'd make this uncomfortable. I actually just got the full tour and I'm going to tell you, you're going to love this home. It is super set up for children. Um, well, this door is beautiful. I've got to show you this. Oh, just beautiful. We're going to leave our shoes outside so we don't make a mess. So when you come in, just a beautiful bench. Amazing entryway with this. These light features are featured through the whole. <laughs> I'm tripping now. Uh, they're featured through the whole home. Ray, um, can you tell me more about the Yeah, entry? absolutely. So, um, the the home designer or the home builder when they built the home, kind of just gave it a really custom feel. So it's uh, it's built with different colors than you traditionally see on the market. Um, really gave it its own feel that you're going to see. Shall we go straight into the living room? Absolutely. So as you can see here, I don't know if it comes through on the Facebook Live, but this is a huge sofa, huge. So a great, great entertaining space. They've got the piano, the warm fireplace, um, room for a gigantic TV. <laughs> Massive TV. Massive TV, and sometimes that's really hard to capture um, over the, the phone waves, Absolutely. but my goodness, huge, huge entertaining space. Um, very cozy. Now, this is my favorite. I have to turn this around. This kitchen is a dream oh my goodness again these light fixtures over the island the backsplash just makes my heart palpitate <laughs> uh here this beautiful barnward wood table and again that light fixture ray absolutely look at that face see even you are excited Gorgeous. about it aren't you yeah. uh, we want to go outside now so come on outside this this is set up for kids it's set up for entertaining backyard barbecues so what we have here is a, a massive deck, right? The stamped concrete patio there. What you can't see under the 90 feet of snow we have here is along all the edges, there's a decorative curve put in there so that there's no more weed whacking. You just run your lawnmower all around it. In the corner, we've got a little flower bed built up, ready for you to come in and plant your own trees, shrubs. And in between the pergola and that beautiful play center is a big sandbox for the kids. Great, great. I was just saying with the pergola too, there's so much you could do with that. If you're a planter, you could have um, different herbs hanging off of the sides. You could have cute little lights. This is a great, great space and one of the um, one of the biggest lots, I think, yard-wise in Olds. Absolutely. So uh, they don't make many lots this size anymore and especially with the depth. So a lot of the common lots we're seeing built on right now are about 10 to 15 feet shorter. So this is really nice to have that extra space back there. Absolutely. Let's go back in. Because I'm a little cold. <laughs> um, again, this kitchen. Ah, just, and the colors, so modern. Love it. Uh, walk through pantry, Ray? Walk through pantry. So you're always coming in from the garage with, with groceries and extra stuff. Tons it's so tons nice to come on in straight from there. Come right through from the garage. Look at this huge space. I love how they set it up with all the little hooks. For the little ones, you know what it's like. They go outside to play, they got wet clothes, they can wash their hands if they've been in the mud. And uh, you can get right there to laundry. Huge closets here. This a lot of people are gonna love. So this is a two car garage, fully uh, in floor heat. You can see that we've got the drain down in the, ba in the garage floor there so that any water that does come in drains right down. More than that, if you don't wanna use it as a garage, uh, we've got the workout stuff that I have no experience with whatsoever, <laughs> but also a climbing wall for the kids. The you, climbing... you want to try it? No. <laughs> so the climbing wall, it stays at the home. It was all professionally built, so it's nice and sturdy. Um, you know, the household has 
a four and a seven or eight year old, so they just love this right now. Very cool. Uh, even with the amount of stuff we have in here, if we remove the workout equipment, we'd still get two cars in here in this fully heated garage. Absolutely. And it is warm in here. It is. Absolutely. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very cozy. I'm going to try that wall later. All film. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> All right. This, again, you were talking earlier about how this was a custom space right here. Holy cow, just blows my mind. I love it so much. The kids are on the main level with you, so if they need to do homework, need to do some crafts, at least they're on the same level as you, not up in their rooms trying to do homework, um, but right here and able to have a space for them, especially as they get older. Absolutely. So in my household... All that stuff is on the island and the kitchen table and it's a disaster yeah uh, but here it's all nicely put away it's out of the way and yet very public still so mom and dad can always kind of know what's yeah going and on. they feel i think that's the biggest thing is why they have it on the island is they want to feel like they're part of the family yeah absolutely right? so i think that's pretty cool oh a nice little half bath so lots of bright colors in here not your just your standard brown across the entire home the homeowner has gone and upgraded Things like shoving the wall, independent or um, their their own wallpapering and decals, just gives it a, a unique feel. Very, very awesome. So up these beautifully carpeted stairs. Nice tall ceilings upstairs. We're right in the master. So enormous master. You know we've got a king size bed here, beautiful chandelier, massive windows, so lots of bright light. One of the benefits to buying a home like this is that it's new enough where it still has that new home warranty, new home feel, but they've already gone and they've done the decoration for you. They've done the upgraded light fixtures and, and window coverings. I lack vision, so there's no <laughs> way I could do this, right? And so somebody else already done it for me. And it's subtle enough. It's not something that's really loud and overwhelming, right? Absolutely. Like it's just beautiful little touches that really make it a home. I love Kay, this bathroom though. Hooray! Okay, see this face? So excited because you have to see this. Holy cow, this walk in closet just about makes me just so excited. Wow. Was this custom, right? It was. So, homeowners picked out everything here. Tons of space. So, it basically eliminates the need for dressers. Um, you know, you've got everything yeah, right Yeah, like all these it. cubbies and. The shelvings for all the jewelry. Oh yeah, digging it. I'm digging it big time. Love it. <laughs> One of my favorite parts, I am a tub guy, so nice big deep jet tub. Oh, You've got nice. little people, they love it. It's like a swimming pool. Mm-hmm. And the chandelier again for some glam. Uh, little bath, of course, and the closet, which is better that way. We all know that. Huge shower. Giant shower. Giant shower, double sinks. Sorry, I got distracted by the uh, the walk-in closet i personally love this area down here it's it's awesomely set up for kids so beautiful little person's room here whether it be a, a little baby boy or girl this one's set up for a little girl with the chandelier the nice wainscoting uh great thing is it's set up for kids of this age but it would be very easy to change this to an older person's room yeah i would live in this room for sure i would <laughs> i don't think you meant me <laughs> But beautiful. And then for a little boy, you've got kind of that hockey Lego Batman theme here. Oh, very nice. Just perfectly decorated. Perfectly decorated. And this is a very usable space. So whether we're going to do something like a home office like we have set up here already, you know, a photography studio, or whether it's a reading room, a playroom, a kids room, a TV room, you've got it all. Tons of natural space. And on the second level, which is great to have too, a nice addition. Absolutely. Yeah, I love the natural light. Love it. It's very glam, Ray. It is. It's very glamorous. Uh, another full, full bath here. Yep. So full bath, tub shower. So if we have any guests staying with us, kids, nice and easy. Yeah. They're not in your bathroom. And this home's located in the Vistas, so nice, quiet neighborhood, right? Down on Viceroy yep. Crescent, so it's a street that goes around, so you're not fighting cul-de-sac snow or anything like that. Terrible angles here. <laughs> <laughs> that Facebook Live does a lot for a guy's self-confidence. Uh, I love that this house is really um, kid-friendly. That's kind of my favorite thing, is just I know that... Um, 
you as a mother you like to have something that is glam and great for you but the opportunity to have something that's also really kid friendly is amazing and this house i think offers the best of both worlds including that amazing garage and outdoor space for dad absolutely so down here again fully developed area what you can't tell on the facebook live of course is uh in floor heat here so it's nice yeah. it's toasty very consistent feel you can feel uh, it through the whole house yeah, yeah not the cold cold rooms we normally used to love this room so a little lego room here as a dad there's nothing worse than stepping on lego mm -hmm. right and so we've got it all underneath here it's fully finished it's light awesome so this can also double as storage if you'd like or keep it Lego room, because really, how cool is this? <laughs> Absolutely. So when people come over, all you have to do is close the door, Lego's gone. And there's the Lego there's gone. It. Love it. Another full bath, so if you have guests over, or you got, as the kids get older, they can each have their own bathroom too. I think that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Through here, we have the fourth bedroom. Okay, what's really special about this bedroom is it's, they're using it as an office currently, but right behind here, we've got the Murphy bed. Okay, so this stays with the home. So, Andy, Uncle, Grandma, Grandpa, somebody from the Christmas party is going to spend the night. We've got it, but we still have an enclosed office. Awesome. Oh, and wow, again, a nice deep closet. I wasn't expecting that. We didn't open this door earlier. Oh, love it. Storage is important in our lives. This is a huge space. Again, hard to tell maybe on the Facebook Live, but a really great large space you could keep as a playroom, a cozy living room. Absolutely. So nice tall ceilings. We don't feel like we're in a basement. No. You know, it's really bright, bright. out here. So as we do have kids that are getting a little older, we can kind of lock them into the basement. They keep all their stuff down here and we get our upstairs back. Yeah. You know what? You're right. That's why it's so glamorous <laughs> up there. Uh, huge, huge closet. You know, kids, they come with games, they come with toys. And uh, what better place to put it than behind closed doors? <laughs> So awesome. I'm going to show you the, the area that excites people the least, unless you're like me, and that's the mechanical room. So in here, one of the things we love to point out is high efficiency furnaces. Uh, you've got the full boiler system. Everything's kind of nice and tucked away here. Lots of storage. We see we got a couple fridges here. Yeah. Right? So the main point of, of this room here is that you've got appliances that aren't going to fail for years to come. So we don't have to worry about replacing hot water heaters. It's the boiler system that will probably outlast me, right? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, there's dependability here. That's awesome. That's super important. Let's turn it back to us and do a, f a finish up here, Ray. Um, buying a home, especially a new home, whether it's your first, your second, your last, um, that's something that's really, really important um, because you don't want to get into something and have to spend a ton of money right away, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So our main focus at Coldwell Banker Vision Realty is it's one thing to buy a home, but we really want you to think about the investment aspect and whether it's that you're doing it for a property investment, like you're going to switch it out three, four or five years from now, or whether it's an investment for, you know, long term, you know, 10 years, 20 year home. We want to make sure that you're not just buying a house, but you're buying the right house for your needs today and in the future. Oh, I love that. And you guys are the guys to do that. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you again. What, what is the listing? So this one is 15 Viceroy. It's Paul and Lindsay's house. So if you want more information on it, if you if you want to book a viewing through it, either go to our Facebook site, which is tagged here. Um, you can go to coldwellbankervision.com okay. or you can contact Rick or I at 415-9464 and just say you want to look at Paul and Lindsay's house. Paul and Lindsay's house, 15 Viceroy Crescent. And uh, it's been fun today. I don't want to leave. Do you think they'd mind if they like found me just camping mm, out? Just just keep coming around. <laughs> For 96 Sides to KFM and Rock 104, it's... Ray Kaven with Coldwell Banker Vision Realty. And I'm Christina Ray.